I think I'm lost. Oh, God. I hit a, a spider web. I don't know where the hell I'm at. Oh, oh my God. I just ran into a sticky bush. Well, hello there. So I am back at the disc golf trail. And uh, I went and picked up the plates for my car and the registration and all that. So that's exciting. That's why. He called me and then I went over there and uh, I dyed my hair last night. And I am so sloppy when I dye my hair. I'm not going to lie. I even do the Vaseline that goes around here. So it's probably about maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And I don't know why I chose this time to vlog. Do you hear the geese? They're way over there. When I get closer, I'll show you over there. And um, I'm going to go this way. And uh, it's like the hottest part of the day. But I don't know. I just felt like walking. I have a lot of anxiety today. So let's go in the shade here. Really quickly. So, the vlog that I put up yesterday, today's Wednesday when I'm filming. Yesterday, I put it up Tuesday, but I filmed that on Monday. And I titled it like, somebody was following me or whatever the case may be. Um, so, if you don't know, I'll leave that video link down below. But, do you guys remember if you watched the vlog? If not, uh, like I said, I'll link it down below. When I first started walking, I usually walk, I always go the same way all the time, right? And I said, no, let me, let me go this way for the first time when I start. Because I had this feeling, you ever have these gut feelings like, I don't know. So in the very beginning, I felt like bearing off, you know? And good because, you know, the guy was straight if I would have kept going straight. So when I turned around and then decided to go straight, I went past the guy and I said uh, something like, uh, how you doing? Or I don't know what I said. And he just looked at me. And if you noticed in that vlog, I went like this. Because when I looked at him, I had that bad feeling. You know those gut feelings that you have? And I said, whatever I said. And he looked at me, but he never said anything. I mean, you can clearly, when you watch the vlog, you'll see. He was quiet. And I did notice he was carrying a red Wawa bag. And when I went past him, he held it a little close to him. So I thought, well, I actually thought maybe he was getting high or something. You know, he just was nervous or uh, paranoid or something like that. I don't know. So... Very quickly, I want to show you this. So, this is what the disc golf is. And I guess you try to put it in. I I'm not sure how. I know you guys told me, but I haven't seen an action. So, I'm actually, when I get home, going to YouTube it and look at a video to see actually what disc golf is. Anyway. So, and then a few times as I'm walking, I would see him. Now, you guys couldn't see him. Why? Because I have the camera faced on me. You're, the camera's not faced this direction. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is this, if I'm walking. So if I had the camera on this direction, you would clearly see what I'm seeing because this is exactly what I'm seeing as I'm walking, right? Okay, so, but I have you facing this direction. So as I'm seeing it, you guys can't see what I'm seeing, okay? Uh, I said a few, a comment, you know, like, I didn't see anybody or whatever the case may be. And uh, so just to let you know, but I, every time I would see him, I'm on the phone like this. So I think because he hears me talking and I'm holding the phone not to my ear like this, he must have thought I was FaceTiming or maybe live. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, scared him that he would back away. But he was always around. Do you remember in the beginning I said, 
What was that noise? I'm always scared there's gonna be snakes. I heard something, but this is prior. I think I didn't even see the, the, the man yet. And uh, that's why I always say, always look at your surroundings. If you notice when I walk, I'm always looking around. Now, some people say you should carry your mace. Now, I don't know what the hell happened because now I got to a spot that you can't go no further. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm going to try to go over here. Okay, I hope, this is where I got lost at before, so I hope I don't get lost. And I'm going to show you, I always keep mace in my back pocket. Always. Um, I know some of you said I should get bear mace. I'll have to look into it to see if I can buy it, because New Jersey is very weird about certain things you could buy. Tasers. Now, somebody told me that you can have tasers now, but when I went on Amazon months ago when I first started doing my walk and talk you couldn't even purchase it because it would not let you deliver it to Jersey so there's a lot of things that are, are illegal and that doesn't you know if it's for my safety I'll get it and carry it but in order to purchase it I don't know how I would get it to me is what I'm saying so uh but I hear now tasers are um you can I, I have to look into it I always carry a knife in my other pocket that I won't show because I don't want to get flagged. You know, there are some people that, you know. But what I am going to order is they have, it looks kind of like a dagger, but it's about this big. And you have it's a string around a rope. And the idea is to wear it like a necklace. So that way, and you put it in your shirt. So that way if somebody does grab your whatever you have it right here because you know even though I carry a gun and everything else you can't get to it if it's here if somebody's grabbing you so I need something here now my back pocket I can grab my knife and I can I have my mace um, but I carry a gun uh, for loose dogs if there's a group of them and I would never ever want to hurt a dog oh god I, I don't know if I could ever forgive myself but if it's me or the dogs and there's a group of them you know and they're coming to attack me and I've tried everything I could to get them away stabbing is not gonna help you know so that's why I carry that but um, some of you asked me why I don't bring Nala with me. I explained this before, I have carpal tunnel, and it's worse on my left hand, I'm left-handed. And I am scared that if she ever pulled too hard or seen another dog, she wouldn't just be aggressive where she would attack another dog. The dog has to be close to me, or if there was a man that came up to me, um, and I, say I wasn't looking, and the man comes from behind, she would be very aggressive, okay? Uh, so, I'm scared if she ever got loose, and I'd never forgive myself if she hurt somebody, you know? Um, as far as, like, Tyler's going to start working with me, but he's been walking with me. But he's been working a lot of hours, and then we just got this puppy. So, you know, he stays with a puppy and different things. However, I came here again today just to see there's not a lot of people around, and you are allowed to have dogs here. So I think I might start taking Nala, you know, with me. The city park, what I'm scared of in the town that I live in, they bring a lot of their smaller dogs. And I just, I don't know. But again, I don't think Nala would be aggressive to them unless they got too close, you know? So I, I just have to figure it out. But maybe when I'm walking the trails, uh, you know, like not walking over the bridges and stuff. You know, I could take her with me. But, anyway, that's what I wanted to explain to you about that guy. Where there was comments like, oh, we didn't see. You couldn't see what I can see because the camera's facing this direction. But, I definitely got weirded out. And I definitely had a feeling as soon as I got there. Because we watched that video in the beginning where when I first said, oh, let me go this way. And then remember, I wouldn't go past that bridge. I kept, every time I went near that bridge, I kept saying, I don't want to go that far. It's weird how these gut feelings, always trust your gut feelings. So, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that really, really quickly. 
I always tell you I love nature. Like, it's just so pretty. And then you might look over here and people might think, oh, that's just dead. But I think it's pretty. I showed a picture. Oh, God, I feel like I ran into a, a, a spider web. I showed a picture that I'll post right here of one of my trees in my backyard. And it looks like it's, first of all, these trees have been here. See, my uh, grandma moved into that house in like 79. So they've always been there, right? They have to be at least 100 years old or so. And, oh, see now I'm getting close to houses. So I'm gonna turn around, you guys can see. Even though the trail keeps going, but I always fear loose dogs. Oh, so there's a tree, you know, that looks like this. And you see how like these branches are around it? That's how that tree is. Now you could just pull these right off. But that tree is so old that the, it's so thick, like you would need a chainsaw. And it goes all the way, there's no way I can reach it all the way up. And I don't know how because I look at the, bo the bottom, the base of the tree, and you don't really see the roots so how did those how did it get around like it's just w really really weird and it's so big so it's behind where the fence is okay and but it's so big that the branches and everything the leaves go so far over to where the house is and i've always was scared as a little kid remember the movie poltergeist and how the tree comes alive and it moves. It reminds me every time I think of that tree. And I'm always scared that tree's going to fall, like hurricane season, you know, when it's windy or whatever. But it's very sturdy and it doesn't look dead as far as the leaves are all green and pretty. So it's like, is it strangling the tree? Will, will, will it will, what? Get it out. Where it will die? It's very cool to look at because you don't see trees like that. And it's, it's been like that for years. And I mean, as far as I can remember as a kid. Uh, so I don't know if I sh need somebody to come out and look at that tree. It's like, there's no way I can cut it. I mean, it's so thick. Like, you literally need a chainsaw. But it goes so high up the tallest ladders. You would need one of those, um, like, trucks with the ladder. You know what I mean? To get all the way up. Because it just goes all the way up. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you know anything about trees or what, what do you think? I mean, like I said, the tree doesn't look dead. It's still grown really pretty, but, and if it's not hurting the tree, it's just nighttime freaky to look at. You know what I'm saying? I always used to think about cutting that tree down. But it gives a lot of shade in the yard. Because if I cut that tree down, there will be no shade in the yard. Like where the fence is. And that's the only thing that's keeping the shade. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Every time I try to show you like what I can see. Like the sun. You can't see. Like it blurs it out. But I'm going to turn it around. Oh my. It's so pretty. I mean, just look at that. Look at the water. So you can walk down there. You can't see much because I know the trees, but isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, today, like I said, my anxiety's been really high, and I really don't have much to talk about today. I just wanted to come on camera and just talk, you know, just because I wanted to do my walk and talks. And I've never been that way, but I can see like a little picnic table and stuff. That's pretty. You guys can see like I'm just like in the woods, but I love this. I love nature. I, if somebody said, do you want to go hiking? I would be like, yep, let's go. I love it. I could be outside all day long. Like love it. Now I don't want to like work outside, <laughs> like rake leaves and all that. But I just like looking at it. I can, if I had a chair, I would literally sit out here all day and can either read my Bible or some books or meditate and be at peace. This and water, because I grew up down the shore at the beach. So what I would do is just put my 
like to my ankles in the water and I would sit in the chair and I could be like that for hours and just listening to the water. I could actually fall asleep. And this is another thing too, just with nature. It doesn't scare me. Now at night, it was because I watched too many scary movies growing up like Jason and all that stuff where there's killers in the woods, you know? But like I have no fear of, well, I just think it's beautiful. And uh, especially when the when it, the leaves are green and do you know what I mean? They're changing colors. I just do, I think it's beautiful. I think what I'll do now is I'll turn you around because like I said, I have anxiety really bad, so I don't even know like what to talk about. So I'm gonna turn around and let you see what I see so you can see some of the nature. And I'll kind of like speed it up and put some music in. Okay, so there's a fence here. So right there must be somebody's yard. You know what I mean? Because there's some houses there. Like if you can see right there, must be somebody's yard. All right. I think I'm lost. I think I'm lost again. Oh, God, I hit a, a spider web. I don't know where the hell I'm at. I see all the squirrels running to the trees. They, they hear my steps. I just gotta get back on trail. Like, I'm not scared. Now, if it was starting to get nighttime, that's different. But I just gotta get back on trail. I think I found the trail. I'm walking through. Oh! Oh my god, I just ran into a sticky bush. Okay. Back on trail. Whew. I am literally out of breath. I probably edited all that out, but I was probably lost for about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, it got a little too close. I tell you all the time that this gets a little heavy, and as I'm walking, I don't realize how close I have you to me. So I'm literally like this, and I'm like, whoa, back it up, some girl. Okay, so now which way did I go? Did I go straight, or did I turn? I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> And I don't see the water. They say, see, there's no water. They say, follow the water. Water will take you to people. I have no idea where I'm at. We will figure this out together. That really hurt, gosh. I probably can't see anything, but I can feel it. It's like those little cuts, those paper cuts hurt worse than like big cuts. I've been walking so much that my ankles hurt. I don't know where we're at. So you can go this way, or straight. And 
literally that's where the water is you see no water I don't know where the hell I'm at You'll find out okay I've been walking about 10 minutes 15 minutes and I can see from a distance the parking lot so I'm going the right direction just a different direction and as I'm looking now I'm getting closer to the parking lot I can see the water and I'll show you in a second Sorry I'm not too talkative today. I hate when my anxiety gets like this, but I figured, you know, I have to walk anyway to build my heart up. Why not take you with me? Because there's so many of you that I never thought about. See, now if I turn here, I can show you the water. Um, the people that don't get out of their house. So they like seeing outside and different scenery and different things like that. So that's what I figured I'm going to do. See, now when I turn... Now you can see the water, <laughs> kind of. I know like the, the sun kind of blurs it off, but okay. It's so funny, I laugh at myself every time I edit because I'll say, well, this is gonna be short and sweet and then it's like 20, 25 minutes of me talking. But, okay. So do I keep going straight now? I'm gonna go over here where the water is because I see the parking lot over here. I don't see the parking lot no more. All right. I've probably been walking, I've been editing a lot out for about 40 minutes. So I put enough, uh, I think walk in today. Yeah, okay. So now this is where I started. The only thing is you're not gonna be able to see me really well because of the sun. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, see, now I'm out, I'm out of the woods. That was kind of fun, a little adventure. Let me know, because in two days, um, Isaiah's gonna go with me. We're gonna go to this nature trail. It's down by the shore, and all it is is like trails. Uh, I will have Isaiah with me. Let me know, like, do you like, I know you guys like when you can see me and I'm talking, but let me know if you like it when I also turn it around where you can actually see where I'm going and see the nature too. Like, like to do both. Let me know. Um, because I'll do whatever you guys want. It's up to you, whatever you guys like. Do you know what I'm saying? I cannot wait to get home and get in the shower. No, I cannot. All right. I'm going to get off of here and walk to the car. The car is just over there. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. That helps me out too. Make sure you leave a comment. And uh, yeah. Oh, I'm out of breath. I cannot wait to get that air conditioned car. Uh, yeah. Again, let me know what you guys like. Do you like it when I turn around when I'm just walking? Will you guys see the nature too? Let me know. Because I cut a lot out. Would you guys would rather see a longer video if you could see the nature? Let me know. Or, or you, you don't even want to be bothered. Just let me know. So I went and I had to edit the videos from here on out. Like I said, the next vlog will be a travel vlog. We'll, we'll be going down the shore to these trails and stuff and I'll explain more I used to go there when I was a child so uh, like I said I'll have Isaiah with me and uh, yeah stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you and I will see you in my next video bye guys oh that was a workout yes it was really quick out quick quickie Quickly, I want to show you this. How you can walk up to this. Let me turn you around really slow. So you can walk up the ramp. And then you have two benches here. See that? So you can actually sit and watch the water. And look how pretty. You can actually look down. Look how clear that water is. I wonder if people go fishing or not. But, um, and then the, it goes all the way out. And I'll try to zoom in what I can. 
but I notice when I zoom in too much it gets a little blurry but you can see all the geese and everything way over there way over there let me zoom you out so you can see how far I am that's where I started the walking you know remember every time I walk I say oh here's the water Look how pretty it's so nice you could just sit up sit on here I wonder if it's hot well, not really and just look at the water but yeah I want to show you that real quick I mean yeah it's a lot of sticks and stuff in it but it's really clear I don't see any fish and uh, look at the geese. Oh. Next time I come, I have to bring my bird seed. But yeah, very pretty.